I'm right there. <laughs> Thank God you're all right. Thanks to you. If you want to step in my way, I'd be dead right now. You can do it again. I love you, Mr. Harris. Sarah, what is it? Lightning! There's terrible, a terrible flash and the lights went up. Oh, we're going down! We're going down too fast! No, hold on, sweetheart. You have, just hold on. The plane is going to come up. It has to. Wait! I love you, but always remember I... Sarah? Sarah, say something! Sarah? Sarah! Sarah! Do something! Nighthawk, this is Douglas Tower. Do you copy? Sarah! Sarah, talk to me. Sarah, please say something. Sarah! Here's what to do when you don't find... I'm trying, but this storm... Try harder. Devin, this is Charleston. Over. Who the hell's Charleston? Tell them to get off that frequency. No, wait. That's the chase plane, plane they sent up to track the Nighthawk. Charleston, Charleston, this is Douglas Tower, over. Let him do it. Charleston, this is Douglas Tower, do you copy, over? Uh, negative, Douglas, over. Charleston, Nighthawk, do you see Nighthawk, over? Uh, negative, over. Negative, what does he mean, negative? Say again, Charleston, have you sighted Nighthawk, over? Uh, middle explosion, uh, constant down, could be lightning. Uh, the Nighthawk blew up, over. Send out a Mayday signal. Send out a Mayday signal. Get some emergency uh, aircraft out there right now. Over. Uh, sorry, Douglas, but the Nighthawk disintegrated. No chance of survival. Repeat. No chance of survival. Oh, Over. No, no. Let me get clarification. Confirm, Charleston. I want confirmation. I want it in the water. I want it on the ground. And you notify the Coast Guard. You tell them to get some... Some some rescue vessels. Get them out there now, okay? Over. No can do, Douglas. Over. Just do it! My wife's on that plane! Your wife? Who is this? Over. You just do it! You understand? You tell the Coast Guard to converge everything they have on the spot. You saw that plane go down. Now listen, mister. I've got to come down. The weather's getting worse all the time. Request no. Demand to return to base immediately. I'm moving frequency at this time to contact the bridge control. Out. No, Johnson! Johnson, don't you sign off on me, damn it! Mr. Buchanan, it's no you. What do you want to do? Huh? Door. What the hell do you want to do? You want to give up? I don't give up. Megan doesn't give up. You guys are loads, Sarah, the way we do it. She's okay. We're going to find her. I'm going to get her right now. Where are you going? I'm going to charter an airplane, and I'm going to go after myself. That's impossible. I can't give you clearance. What the hell with your clearance? Sarah! Look at this. Can you live with yourself if you d did nothing, didn't do all you can to rescue her, huh? Look, Mr. Buchanan, I understand what you're going Not through. Not a hell you do! All right, as well as anybody can, I know what you're feeling. Then you get me an airplane right now! Look, this is for the Coast Guard. You come with me, and I promise you I'll do everything I can to get them involved in this. Okay, no. Well, my wife might come back up on the radio, or the pilot may... You just go with the superintendent. I'll take care Megan, of Megan. I'll be fine Megan, with Megan. Listen, listen, we don't give up. You got that? We don't give up. Mr. Buchanan. No, come on, let's go! Okay. Come with me, Megan. No. No, you need to see a doctor. You're in shock. Sarah! You need to see... Bo will do everything that he can to get Sarah back. I guarantee it. Now, we need to take care of you. And after that, there's someone else I'm going to take care of personally. Come with me. Hang a thousand cc's, ringers lactate. I want to start a CVP line, and we also need arterial blood gases. Yes, doctor. Jake. I'm right here, Charlotte. I'm right here. I know it hurts, but Dan's doing a great job. You're going to be all right. Just stay with me, Charlotte. Stay with Have me. Have OR on standby. We're looking you... at a splenectomy. It's already done, doctor. Okay, then tell X-ray to be ready before we go in, all right? I want to type and cross-match six units for the OR. What right? about a Foley, Dr. Wallach? All right, you're way ahead of me. You're right. Let's do it. Do it. Damn. Damn. Look, Jake, look, we're, no, we're no, kind of busy right now. How bad is she? Uh, all right, look, we're going to have to do the X-ray before the surgery begins. What well, the medic tells me, and from what I see, the bullet has entered the spleen. She's in serious trouble, all right? She's, she's not going to... Well, what it means is we've got to work fast. No, I need a consent form signed by a family member before we start the surgery. I can do it. Just give it to me. I can sign the thing for Well, Jake, I said a family member. I qualified, Dan. I married Charlotte yesterday. 
Nurse, the nurse will get you uh, a consent form, all right? Okay. Let's roll! You just hold on and you be as brave as you are strong. Get Mr. Harrison a consent form to sign. I know you're going to make it. I know you will. Let's roll. Oops, let's be careful. Make it slow. I'll get the doors. Thanks, Jack. Okay, slow. There we go. My daughter, uh, well, where's my daughter? I'm sorry, uh, sir. My name is Hessa. They told me she's been shot. How is she? Oh, you must mean Charlotte Harrison. No, uh, no. They, they just took her into surgery. Surgery? Nurse, I need to sign a release. Let him go. We'll forget the whole lousy mess ever happened. Oh, darling, you know you can't do that. You can't forget your own son. Oh, no. Watch me. Mason, uh, wait a minute. Why don't you tell Max and the rest of us how exactly you came to this conclusion? Yeah, how long, Paul? How long have you known this? Those are good questions, Asa. Right, they are. But will he stand still long enough to listen to the answers? Max? Go ahead, say what you got to say. Tell him. Tell him, it happened I recently. will tell him in my own way, Renee. Not too long ago, I was going through the office files, and a letter fell out. It was written by Patricia Holden. The postmark was almost 35 years old. I had known of Patricia Holden in those days. The letter says that she and I, well, she and I had a son together. So that's your evidence, Asa, an old letter? Asa, come on, surely you must have read the letter before then. Never, never was it opened. Sweetheart, are you, uh, are you following any of this? Are you, you? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my best. Uh, uh, Kevin, take the kids and, uh... Go on, Paul, go on. I showed the letter to Renee. She agreed she, we should get it verified, so we flew down a... Sweetwater, Texas, to check on the birth records. Unfortunately, there had been a tornado and destroyed all of the records years ago, but we managed to track down the midwife who had delivered Patricia's son. Duane Demaris, the midwife. According to her, there is no doubt Max here is my son. Max, aren't you going to say something? Well, I sure will. Nobody minds my playing detective. Play detective? Rafe, you are a detective. Asa, how did you meet Patricia Holden? I mean, I assume that she was married at the time to the man that Max thought was his father. Wingate. His name was Wingate Holden, right, Max? Asa, I, I think what Rafe is asking... I know what he's asking, Cordero. After I secured the mineral rights from the Double Bar Ranch, Wingate's wife thought I maybe took advantage of her husband. So she came to my hotel room to try and get me to give the deed back. She used... She used her feminine wiles on me. And they, sir, of course, succumbed. It was one moment. I'm not proud of it. It happened. Well, tell it all, darling. Tell what? You didn't give her back the deed. Well, Patricia Holden did get something for her trouble. <laughs> yeah, a son named Max. And you got the oil that was beneath the double bar. Oil that helped build Buchanan Enterprises. I mean, what, what the hell are you talking about? All of my wealth and prestige, you think, was built on the backs of these poor Holdens? I play hard, but I play fair, Clint. And I'm playing fair now. On behalf of the Buchanan clan, I accept you into the family. Darling, say something. For your information, I had a family, my own family. And I had a father. His name was Wingate Holden. And he loved me. And I know that's a concept that means nothing to you. 
And that's why you'll never be anything to me. Much less a father. Is that clear enough for you, old man? I didn't want Charlotte to come to the airport when she showed up. I tried to get her to leave, but she wouldn't go. She wouldn't go because she, you fooled her into thinking she loved you. I might be blamed for a lot. Of yes, people. this is I emergency B. Daughter, which is more than I can say for you. Yeah, but you got a shot. I didn't because of you. She's lying. You don't get it, do you, Carlo? Where was the love for your daughter? How would he went into business with Porter? Where was the when concern for your daughter when you told us that Sarah wasn't being held hostage? Huh? You want to look at somebody to blame? Look in a mirror. I know where I'm looking now. You two bit hustler. Hey, you I use my daughter, you always tell her I had to be here right now. Damn it, this is a hospital. He's the one who hurt my yes, daughter. In a hospital. If you two don't stop this right now, I'm going to call security to have them run you both downtown. <laughs> and in case you have forgotten, gentlemen, the woman you care so much about, she's in surgery right now, so I suggest you drop this little vengeance and say a little prayer for her, because believe me, she's going to need it. Yeah. What the hell's so bad about being related to me? I don't know where to begin. All right, so I am a little uh, opinionated, a little stubborn. But so are you. We have that in common. Why do we have to let that split us apart? Hey, so will you give the man a break? Think about how much he's had to deal with in the last few minutes. He's had to deal with the fact that, that the man who we thought was his daddy wasn't, after all. Not to mention what this says about his mother. I appreciate that, Cord. But did you think I'm shocked? Because they said my mother, uh... Nothing ever surprised me what my mother did or was capable of. And that's why I'm not buying this bull that you're my father. I have definite proof. What? One lousy letter? Memories of an old midwife? So what? Did you ever think that maybe my mother was blackmailing you, pretending that I'm your son? Max, I don't think that she would do something. Hey, I know my mother. I know what she's capable of, all right? Max, don't believe a word I say. Forget the letters. Forget the memories of so, some old midwife. I had more doubts than you'll ever have about this. Your mother confessed it in all the letters she wrote to you over the years. See for yourself. Hey, Franz. Dr. Hi. Powell's in no war. He's going to start the spinectomy as soon as possible. Could you please file this for me? Hi, Thank course. you very much. Hi, Dan. Am I glad to see you. Um, we're looking for x-ray. What's wrong? Nothing, really. Uh, Rika's making a big deal out of nothing. No, don't listen to her. I think she sprained her wrist. Um, no, I, actually, I fell and I just bruised it a little. How? How? Yeah, how? He wants to know how you fell, Laura. I told you I just fell. In the shower, I think. You think? Yeah, look, this isn't really such a big deal. Rika, you never should have brought me up here. Yeah, well, that's what friends are for. You know what? While you're here, why don't I take a look at it? Wait, wait, I'm not finished. All right? Can you... All right, flex it for me. Okay. How bad is it, Dan? Well, I don't think it's broken, but it needs an x-ray. Nurse? Yes? Could you please show Mrs. Ellis to x-ray? And I want a full report. Oh, of course, Doctor. Sure. Well, this is ridiculous, really. Laura, please, do it for me, okay? Okay, Rika, for you. Okay. Let's I have a confession to make, Doc. I came up here on purpose to see you. Laura Jean is up to her eyeballs in trouble. Come on, Doc. No, I don't believe this. These are the letters that Andy gave me. Now, how the hell did Asa get these? I have no idea. I asked you to burn these. You gave me your word. 
I know. But when the moment came... I couldn't. Your mother wrote these. She was Al's grandmother. I couldn't deprive our son of his own heritage. Did you read them? No, of course not. One. Just the first one. Ah, uh, just one. And that one letter just happened to mention that my mother slept with Asa Buchanan and I'm his son. Max, Max, please don't be so hard on her. She had absolutely no idea that your mother was connected in any way with Asa. And she kept those letters in case one day you changed your mind and wanted to see them. The bottom line is, how did Asa get these? Did you give them to No. Max! What does it matter how I got the letters? I got them. The bottom line is you are my son. Oh, poor Max. Sweetheart, are you all right? Vicky, I didn't mean to upset you. That goes for the rest of you. I had to clear the air so you all understand. I did not go after Patricia Holden. She's the one who made the move on me. Is that a fact? Another historical detail you want me to face? All right, Max, just take Wait a minute, what the right? hell did I say this time? Oh, you just called my mother a slut oh. and my father a fool. Max, please, now, are don't. you happy now? Look, Asa, I think you owe him an apology for choosing to tell him this in front of everyone. Thanks, Renee, but no thanks. You want to clear the air? Okay, let's clear the air. I'm not going to apologize for my mother or my father or anything to do with Double Bar. Yeah. It was a poor dirt ranch, but it was my home, my roots, and I'll never be ashamed of that. Now, if there's some <laughs> blood or bond between us, that's what I'm going to be ashamed of. Now, if I could, I'd cut myself and let it all bleed out of me. Now, you can have anything and everything you want, if that's what makes you feel like a big, rich man. But there's one thing you'll never have from me. And that's me. I'll never be your son. Never. Max, Max, please wait! Mr. Hester, go away. Mr. Hester, I think I can understand some of the anxiety you're going through right now about your daughter. Listen, why don't we, uh, why don't we go over to the cafeteria? We Coffee's not world class, but... Uh, no, thank you, Doctor. Well, let's forget about the coffee. I think the walk will do you good. I appreciate your kindness, Doctor. But I know it'll help me and my baby. Is there a... Uh, uh, here in the hospital, a, a chapel? A... Yes, there is. Follow me. Jake? I'll be okay. All right. Well, all right. No, no, Jake, make sure she sees a doctor. She's in shock right now. I can see it. Why? Just make sure she sees a doctor right away, all right? I have to go. But Alex... Al Come here. Come here. Swear, swear. Megan, what, what, what is wrong? Huh? Something happened to Sarah? Did Sarah get shot too? Sarah? Yeah, what about Sarah? Megan? Megan? She's dead. She's dead. What happens when we put... Hey, there you are. How you doing? Good. It's just like I thought. It's just a little sprain. I'll live. Oh, that's good news. Who are you looking for? Well, I was, um, Dan wanted a full report on my x-ray. Uh, should I wait here for him? Well, um, I think actually what happened is he's been called away to the, another part of the hospital or something. Oh, okay. Do you know how doctors are? Always some emergency or something. Well, anyway, uh, I've got this prescription to fill, so painkillers. <laughs> Want to come? Laura. How's it going? No broken bones, doctor. Well, that's good news. That's good news. Uh, did they tell you to keep it elevated? 
Mm-hmm. And they gave me this prescription. Um, we're just going to the pharmacy to fill it. Well, you know what? Let me take a look at it. You know, just I just don't want to make sure that no one over medicated you. Does it look okay? Yeah, it seems fine. It seems fine. Huh? So, uh, hey, uh, how's your personal life? Everything okay? Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's great. It's doing really... I'm doing great. How about you? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, if you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Good. Hey, look, I don't mean to make you uh, upset or anything, you know. No, it's not that. It's just... It's, um, my wrist, it hurts a little bit. It's okay. But hey, you know, hey, look, it was your choice, right? Your husband's back in your life, and I'm out of it. it, it that's what you wanted, right? Laura. Oh, great. Doctor, huh? Healer, even. Either you're a sadist or you're just plain old dumb. Rika, hold oh, Let go of me, look, Dad. I... Somebody's got to help her. Please, look, I know I've been wrong, and I've been dumb. So something's wrong with Laura, and it's a lot worse than a sore wrist. Hmm, amen. So, what are we going to do about it? I need your help. All right, will you be my date at the uh, club tonight? What's going on in that head of yours? No, oh, no, I gotta, I gotta, I'll think about it. I'll explain it to you later, all right? I'll pick you up at about six. You got it. Okay. Catch you later. Laura, wake up! Larry, she's ice cold. Yes, it's perfectly normal, given the circumstances. Megan, what you're experiencing right now is something we call post-traumatic shock. I want you to just lie still and take it easy, okay? I have to call Landfair. Why don't you let me take care of that, all right? Yeah. Please don't let anyone tell Vicky what happened. Chief, make sure she gets some rest. I will. Right. Am I trying to protect Vicky and myself? Don't talk about this right now, okay? I want to. I know. I know what happened to Sarah. I was there. I heard the pilot in the chase plane over the radio. There's no doubts. I mean, no possibilities. You could be wrong. No. I... Sarah's gone. I don't know how I'm going to tell Vicky and Dad and everyone else. Jake, it's my fault. No. You're not to blame for anything that ha happened when you were held hostage. No, you're not. You, you didn't know what you're doing. You guys just played it by ear. Listen, if anybody's to blame, I am. No, you didn't do anything. That's exactly it. I didn't work fast enough. I promised you that I would find her, and I failed, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. It's not your fault. Everybody tried. You tried, and Bo, and Alex. It just wasn't enough. All I'm saying, Pa, is you and Max have been yelling at each other long enough. It's true, darling. The intruder, the hotel, Gabrielle. You and Max have got to put the past behind one another and start to trust one another. Don't tell me. Max can't be trusted. I hand him my heritage, and he spits on it. Hey, so come on, how many times has the man got to prove his trust? Look what happened when Vicky was shot. Max is the one who went after Harding. Yeah, and he got himself into the hospital. Okay, it's true. I mean, every time we've needed Max, he's been there. Max has always been like family. That's true, Asa. It's almost as if he's known he was part of the family all along. Why in tarnation did he run out on all of us? Think about it, Asa. How would you feel if you suddenly found out that the man who raised you was not your father? Honey, that is a very good point. What I don't understand is how Max's mother could have lived a lie all these years. Well, maybe she wasn't really living a lie. I mean, she probably had her reasons for keeping it a secret. I don't, and plus, Max said that he loved the man that he thought was his father. Look, I can certainly understand this, all right? I mean, I, I loved Al Roberts with all my heart. And then when I finally found out the truth, well, I, I, I grew to love Clint. You're all so full of wisdom. I do not want Max to love me. I just want to set things right, and what does he do? 
he jumps down my throat. Yes, but Asa, you might have thought of telling him about it in private. Instead, you chose to tell him in front of everybody. You surprised him. It was a family matter, wasn't it? Asa. Asa. What, hon? It doesn't matter now, right, wrong. What matters is we accept Max, make him part of us. She's right on the money, Paul, like always. I'll get that. Hello? Clint, it's Larry. Yeah, what's up? Well, it's bad news, I'm afraid. It's about Sarah. This is a pretty good breath mint. I think it Tic Tac's better. It freshens your breath just as well as that. Thank you. What was wrong? Nothing. Nothing, sweetheart. Nothing at all. Nothing is wrong. Clint, who was that on the phone? Uh, that was Bo. That was Bo. He wants me to meet him. Uh, he needs to talk to me about the search for Sarah. You mind if I go with you, Clint? No. No, uh, Rafe. As a matter of fact, I'd appreciate that. Honey, I'm going to have to take off right away, but I'll be back just as soon as I can make it. Uh, Renee? Oh, uh, darling, don't worry. We'll hold down the fort here. Uh, Clint, tell Bo he should have been here. I'll do that, Paul. I'll do that. Rafe, shall we go? Take care, Peggy. You know who must be in seventh heaven right now? Gabrielle. What? Oh, Tina, come on. She was just as shocked as everybody else. Yeah, shocked like the kind of person who gets shocked when they win the lottery. Uh, oh, Tina, I don't think that's fair. Look, Renee, I have known Gabrielle for a long time. I'm not going to kid myself about, about her. Remember when she went after you, Cor? Oh, Tina, please. She was still mooring Max, all right? She was just a little lonely. Like a no. fox in a chicken coop for five seconds. Uh. Yeah, see, Ace understands what I mean. Gabrielle has wanted to become a Buchanan for a very long time, and this is finally her opportunity. You know, I think you're being just a bit hard on her. I mean, heaven knows Gabrielle has her faults. But, darling, she has always been very loyal to Max. Max needs her. I think Vicky's right. I think Max could use a lot of help right now. In fact, once he cools off, I'm going to go see him. And I'm going to tell him that I think it's great that he's part of the family now. Cordero, speak for yourself, you understand? Fine, Ace. I will add that little footnote, okay? Right, in the meantime, why don't we go upstairs and yeah. check out the seizure? <clears throat> Vicky, we'll see you later, okay? Oh, Cordero, you tell Max. It will be a long time before he's ever equal to us. I mean, what the hell do I have to do? I tell the world he's my son, he hates my guts. I mean, what the hell does that guy want from me? All I want is a simple answer to a simple question. How the hell did Asa get a hold of these letters? I will tell you just what I told you at Landfair. I don't know. I kept them hidden in a box on the mantelpiece. Maybe he hired someone to come over here and search the place. Maybe he did it himself. That wouldn't surprise me. Would it surprise you? He thinks he owns me. He thinks he can barge in here and take anything he wants. He thinks my life, my, my history is all his. He feels free to just ruin my father and laugh at my mother and get anything he wants. Max, this goes two ways. As Ace's son, you're entitled to money, wealth, and prestige. Well, I don't want anything from him. Who cares where it comes I from? I care! Now, I vowed to destroy that man. Well, that was then, and this is now. You know, you're right about that, sweetheart. But I'm afraid Asa destroyed me instead. Max, what on earth are you saying? He has given you a chance of a lifetime. He's taken away my life. He's destroyed my past. It wasn't enough for him to ruin my poor father and seduce my mother. But he wants to wipe out the Holdens completely. 
as if we never existed. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Holden, oh, that's but I've right. heard your voices. Johnny. Oh, my God. just wanted to come hey. down and see you. Oh, thank you. Uh, can we settle up with you tomorrow? Oh, of course. Okay. Bye-bye, Al. Bye-bye. Oh, uh. darling, just in case you were wondering, Mommy and Daddy weren't arguing. Listen, Daddy got some special news today. Isn't that right, Max? Hey, pal. <laughs> Give me a hug, will you? Oh. How are you? So talk, Fred. I want names, dates, and places. You know the routine. Anything and everything that connects you to Carlo Hesser. I demand to speak to someone higher up. I'm sorry, but around here I'm God, and I'm going to nail your high to the courthouse wall. Do you read me, mister? And I am going to hand him the hammer. Mm. You are a disgrace to the FAB, the badge, and everything that it stands for. Get her out of my I'm face. just getting sorted. I used to admire you, you know that? I used to think you were everything I wanted to be. Special agent, first class, what a joke. You're wrong, Alex. You blew it. You betrayed me, you betrayed the FAB, you blew this entire case because you were so close to Bo Buchanan and you didn't even know. <laughs> Alex, step outside. Troy. This is my jurisdiction, Agent Olenoff. You're wrong, right, Lewitt. I was wrong about you from the start. What I thought was ability was arrogance. What I thought was dedication was greed. And what I thought was courage was cowardice. You're no better than Carla Hesser. I gotta get out of no, here. No, you are not going any place. Larry said that you have to rest. I don't want my father to hear about this on the news. I've got to call him in Washington. And I want to be at Landfair when Clint tells Vicky. As soon as you feel a little bit stronger, I will take you back there. We will go together. Oh, I don't know what I'd do without you. All of this just seems so unfair, so useless. Oh, Sarah was so talented, you know, she was so beautiful. I know, I know, baby. I know. <sighs> she spent her whole life giving to people. Her family and her friends and her patients. She just made everybody happier and stronger. She knew how to love and she knew how to laugh. She was, she's the only one that can make me laugh and myself. I really don't know what I'm gonna do without her. She was my sister, you know, my friend. Who am I gonna talk to? Who am I gonna laugh with? Who am I gonna play with? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't even know where to start, Megan. I'm sorry. I just know I'm gonna be here for you, okay? I'm never gonna leave you, I swear. Excuse me, Mr. Harrison. Dr. Dan Wallop needs to speak to you about your wife, Charlotte. Yo, Pierre. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Max, I think... No, no. Now, you're a Holden. You were born a Holden, and you always will be a Holden. Your name is Al Holden, and your daddy's name is Max Holden. And your uncle's name was Stephen Holden, and your grandpa's name was Wingate Holden. I know that, Daddy. Oh, I know, I know you do, I know you do. But I just want to say all this just in case somebody wants you to forget that, okay? Max, I really do think this is enough. Uh, Al, would you like to come with me to the kitchen and we'll make some brownies? You know, go. Mommy's right. Why don't you go and help her make a big batch of brownies and bring me a big piece, okay? Well, we'll think about that. answered any of my letters but I won't give up hoping I need your forgiveness that much son 
The good Lord knows the secret I carry and the pain that goes with it. Only one other living soul has that knowledge, and that's Asa Buchanan, your father. If only you could acknowledge it, too, and make your peace with it, then maybe I could go to my grave in peace. Your loving mother. Oh, sweetheart, nothing for you to worry about. He just has some very important news, good news. You'll see, and so will he in time. You know what? Some very wonderful things are going to happen for this family. Promise. How about a hug? No. <laughs> Seabird, Seabird, this is Douglas Tower. Over. You keep breaking up with all the static. We're getting... Can you hear me? Over. Bo, I'm sure that the Coast Guard and the other search teams have their hands full. That's right. Bo, why don't you take a break from the radio? Because somebody's got to stay on top of this. And it's not a search team. This is a rescue team. This is a rescue operation. Seabird, this is Douglas Tower. What's with you guys? Over. Oh, you've been at this for hours. Now you need to take a break. I know what I need. I need to find Sarah. Listen, I hate to be the one to have to say this. No, then don't say it. Don't you say it. Rafe, I've already heard enough of that bull. All about this lightning bolts and mid-air explosions. I heard enough of that from that chase pilot from this plane. Oh, look. He was right there. He saw it with his own eyes. Then he made a mistake, Clint. That man's wrong. All right? There was no... The, the, the whole plane just didn't self-destruct. And Sarah's... No... Where is she? Damn it! Seabird! This is Bo Buchanan at Douglas Tower. Come in! Seabird! This is Douglas Tower. Over? No. What? No, Alex. Just wait. I'll be with you in a minute. Damn it, Seabird. Come in! Oh, it's no use. I just talked to the commander of the Coast Guard unit. They just sighted the wreckage off the Carolina coast. No. It's a different plane. It was a no, different it was wreck. The I'm sorry. Sarah's gone. Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry, Bo. Bo, there has to be a reason for this. Now, God only knows what it is, but there's got to be a reason. Somebody's going to pay for this. If it takes me for the rest of my life, I'm going to get the people who did this to Sarah. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Harrison? It's all right, though. Still in surgery. She's lost a lot of blood and she's gonna be weak for quite a while. She's gonna be all right. With no further complications, she's gonna be just fine. <sighs> Thank what? God. I got a special room for the two of you. What? It's a new hospital policy for husbands and wives and uh, other family members. Oh, oh, I don't know. Now listen, as soon as Charlotte is out of recovery, the two of you can spend as much time as you want together until she goes home. I gotta think about this, Dan. I don't well, know. what's there to think about? Well, I know, I know. You've been kind of up and down lately. I always thought you and Megan were headed for the altar. So did I. Then things just went kind of bad between us. When Charlotte came into my life, I guess I just got lucky. Megan. Megan. What are you... When babies 
teeth. Their little mouths go through. Reveals one. Jim Boyd. You can't live without him or with him. So, yo, Miles, let's just rap about him. Perfect skin, well blend, personality, witty, fat, by, smart, and a good heart. A smooth voice that'll make your mind numb. Nice curves to swerve and tons of fun. Nice to lean on, talk to, and walk to. Love and be with, but give them the space to pace. Their own lifestyle to set them apart. Cause once they're in your heart, that's, that's when, when the trouble starts. Good, bad, right, wrong, mean, and nice, deep. Delicate, I'm telling it. Yo, that's precisely the point. Find a love is a dream come true. A special woman who is good for you. But uh, leave a woman crying on a log. Prepare yourself for some dead spar with women. Yeah. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Women. Come on, moms, just rap about them. In effect, boys, in effect, looks real good. <laughs> but let's just get the K Funk mob up on stage so we can dare up again. Let's go, y'all. Stand up, that's cool. <laughs> You can't live without them or with them. So, yo, Miles, let's just rap about them. Perfect skin, well blend personality. Witty, fat, thigh, smart, and a good heart. A smooth voice that'll make your mind numb. Nice curves to swerve and tons of fun. They're nice to lean on, talk to, and walk to. Love to be with, but give them the space to pace. Their own lifestyle to set them apart. Cause once they're in your heart, that's, that's when the trouble starts. starts. Good, bad, right, wrong, mean, and nice, deep. Delicate, I'm telling it. Yo, that's precisely the point. Finding love is a dream come true. A special woman who is good for you. But, uh, leave a woman crying on a log. Prepare yourself for some dead spar with women. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Women. Come on, mom, just rap about them. Yeah, we all set. We all set. Looks real good. Right. Hey, hey. They're about to open up, so we're going to have to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. Thanks for coming along with me, Ricky. No problem. You know I'm just as concerned about Laura as you are. Well, I don't see her. Well, I tell you what, I'll relax a lot more once I know what you intend to do when you do see her. Well, I don't know, but she won't meet me on my ground, so I gotta meet her on hers. Pieces of her story don't exactly fit together. I know. Well, of course you do. You're the one that told me something wrong with her. Yeah, but I can't get through to her. Yeah, well, I have to. And as soon as I see her, I'm just gonna... Actually, um, well, the, the club is starting to fill up, so you can start your first set as soon as you're ready. Cool. All right. What I would like to know is where Clint had to go after Bo called and why he had to go. Darling, Bo obviously needed Clint to help him with something. Well, Rafe's not back either. I mean, uh, what is going on? Why don't you sit down and have a drink and uh, put the questions on the shelf for the time being? Vicky? What is wrong? S Sarah? Vicky. Sarah's dead. 